I love using Inkscape. It is free. It is relatively straightforward. However, in this video, I'm going to walk through some troubleshooting. So this is specifically for version 1.3.2. Let's jump in. If you're trying to do text and you can't seem to see your text design, what might be happening is that your text bubble is too small. So here, for example, I just wrote some text, but I can't see it. So when you make text, you wanna make sure you have a really large bucket. If I make the bucket too small and I start typing, you'll notice nothing's happening and you'll see down below, I'm gonna try this one more time. I hit the text button. I make way too small of a text button here. And it says the frame is too small for the current font size. I've got a 200 font size. So make sure when you click this text button that you check out what your font size is first. 200 is relatively large. I want to make a nice big box. And now I can start typing in my text. If you make your text box too small, it's going to simply disappear. And you don't want that to happen. All right, next up, let's talk about the page. If you want to get rid of the page, you can do so. And what I mean by the page is this white rectangle here in the middle. I'm going to go to File, Document Properties. It's going to get you to this page right here. And you're going to see Page, Border, and Desk. These are your three options. I'm going to click on Page, and a little triangle is going to open up. You want to make sure it's set to HSL. And HSL stands for Hue, Saturation, and Lightness. There used to be an alpha channel down below, but for some reason, they've removed it in this latest version. So if you want to get rid of the page, what you're gonna do is simply move all the sliders to zero. So you can change the color pretty easily of the page. In the wheel, you'll notice I'm just spinning my wheel now, and whatever the color is, that's what the color of my page is. And you'll see the H, S, and L all move according to where my triangle is pointed. To get it so it's all gone, simply move these sliders to zero. So I'm just gonna enter zero for lightness, zero for saturation, and zero for hue. And you can see now it's completely gone. I don't have a page. I can zoom out, I can zoom in. It's completely removed. So you might want to do that if you're just making a design and you're going to export something and the page is just getting in the way. To get it back, just go to File, Document Properties. You'll see the page is still there in the little thumbnail. I'm going to click on the Page button. And then you can simply just make whatever color you would like it to be. And then to make it basically white, you're gonna change the lightness now up to 100. It's still transparent, but the page itself is now visible. So basically, if you wanna see the page, but you wanna have it transparent, it should be 0, 0, 100. And if you want the page to completely disappear, change the lightness down to zero, and it will be completely gone. All right, the third piece of troubleshooting is around your fonts again, but this time I'm gonna go here, make a nice big, bucket for my fonts. I'm going to type in the word Zen water cooler and oh my goodness, what's happening? Nothing is showing. If you see something is gone and you think it should be there, the size is good, the font's not too big, you're like, huh, what's going on? Go down here to the bottom and look at this bottom left corner. Fill, you'll see fill, it says none. Uh-oh, that means there's no fill. It's an invisible font. So I'm going to click on the bottom left here where the black is and you'll see now it comes back. My fill now goes to black. So whatever you're clicking on, whatever color, purple, red, that's what your fill will be. So this fill button is down at the bottom and it says fill colon red, fill brown, whatever you want. I typically go to black or to white. White sometimes hard to see because of that pesky page. That's where you'd remove the page. Hope you found this walkthrough helpful. A few quick tips in Inkscape 1.3.2. If you've got a question about Inkscape, throw it down in the comments. I'd love to answer them and do videos helping you guys with Inkscape. Let's have some fun creating. Thanks a lot. Bye for now.